Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of fetal demise, IUFD, intrauterine fetal demise with pregnancy of about 31 weeks. You can see the fetus. This is the fetal head, the, fe the cephalic presentation. Interuterine fetal death or interuterine fetal demise is a fetal death that occurs after 20 weeks gest gestation but before birth. If the gestational age is unknown at the time of the fetal demise, a fetus that weights equal to or more than 350 grams is considered an IUFD, more than 350 grams weight. Now you are going to see the fetus and it looks that um, there is oligodromias, no, uh, almost no amniotic fluid is visible. These are the spine of the fetus. Fetal cardiac activity will be missing. You will see. And there is minimum fetal uh, ascites. A small amount of free fluid is seen in the fetal abdominal cavity with no fetal cardiac activity, no blood flow is seen inside the fetus. About 2 to 3 percent pregnancies will be lost in the second trimester, a rate that is much lower than in the first trimester. Once a pregnancy gets to about 20 weeks gestation, less than 0.5 percent will end in fetal demise a lot at this a loss at this time in pregnancy is most often a hard and sad experience now you can see the fetal heart but there is no fetal cardiac activity and no blood flow is seen inside the fetus now causes of intrauterine fetal demise placental abruption and other placental disorders such as vasa previa placenta placental dysfunction leading to fetal growth restriction umbilical cord complications uterine rupture The common causes includes the infection, birth defects and pregnancy complications like preeclampsia, you can have tests to try to find out what caused the fetal demise and prevent another stillbirth in your next pregnancy. Most women who have still birth and get pregnant again have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby. Now the birth of fetus with intrauterine fetal demise. If there is no medical reason for the baby to be born straight away, it may be possible to wait for labor to begin naturally. This decision doesn't usually need to be made immediately and it may be possible to go home for a day or two first. Now as far as the diagnosis of the fetal death is concerned, an, ability, an inability to obtain fetal heart tones upon examination suggests fetal demise. However, this is not diagnostic and Death must be confirmed by ultrasonographic examination. Fetal demise is diagnosed by visualization of 
the fetal heart and the absence of fetal cardiac activity. You can see the femur of the fetus. Now dealing with the fetal demise, here are some ways you can help the parents better understand the baby's death. Now use simple honest words when you talk to the parents about the baby's demise. Read them stories that talk about death and loss. Encourage them to tell you how they feel about the baby's demise. Ask them to help you find ways to remember the baby. Now there I have seen a article showing the effect of anger during pregnancy to the baby. It is believed that being continuously angered during pregnancy can cause the complications. The baby may have a low birth weight, premature delivery, unfavorable effect on baby's temperature. Now what is stillbirth? An early still birth, the, there are three categories. The, an early still birth is a fetal death occurring between 20 and 27 completed weeks of pregnancy. Now, this is, this is the early still birth. A late still birth occurs between 28 and 36 completed pregnancy weeks. Now the term stillbirth occurs and is used between fetal demise with 37 or more completed pregnancy weeks. Now you can see there is no blood flow seen in the fetal umbilical cord and no blood flow is seen in the fetal heart. No cardiac activity is seen, though no fetal movements are visible. Now, the causes of baby, baby's heart to stop beating in the womb. Now, these intrauterine growth retardation has various causes. The most common cause is problem in the placenta, the tissue that carries food and blood to the baby. Birth defects and genetical disorders can cause IUGR if the mother has an infection, high blood pressure, or she is smoking or drinking too much alcohol or abusing drugs, her baby might be might have this intrauterine fetal demise. Now the signs of fetal distress, abnormal fetal heart rate. An abnormal fast heart rate tachycardia, an abnormally low slow heart rate that is bradycardia, abrupt decrease in heart rate, late return to the baseline heart rate after a contraction. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you do like this video. Please click the like button. Thanks.